for those of us who work across disciplines, it can be challenging to keep tabs on research articles that are relevant in different disciplines, or in my case, related to symptoms across disciplines. So stress and pain uh, really are central to almost everything that I do. And that it, whether an article is written for CBD or for massage or for Pilates, I need to make sure that I can track the articles and make it easier for me to find them in the right place. So that I, every time I go out to um, pursue a research question, I'm not starting over with my research. Always start with what you have and expand on it. So what I've done, I've pared down my references here in Mendeley. I've got about 1200 references at the moment and I've got on my computer, um, probably about seven or 8,000 different PDFs of articles. I haven't brought all of them over here. Um, they're not really needed. Um, I'm not necessarily working on them, but I don't want to lose them. So, um, but here what I want to do is really focus on bringing what I need with me wherever I go. So to make it easier to find articles, I went ahead and just created a folder using add a folder. I created a stress and anxiety folder. If I click on this, it's empty but I am fairly certain in my 1200 articles here, I've got some on stress and anxiety. So I'm gonna come back. I do have to clean up these other PDFs, so let's not look at those. Um, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna go over to the search bar here and searching all documents, I'm gonna search for stress. And I found a good chunk of articles that will be useful to have in my stress and anxiety folder. Exercise and massage are at the top of the page. So just as an example, I'm going to go ahead and click on this article and I'm going to drag it over to my stress and anxiety folder and let's see if it gets itself in there easily. And here it is. So now I've got the McGrath et al article here in stress and anxiety, and it might just be stress as an, uh, an, an extra measurement. I'm not really sure yet. All I know is it has something to do with stress, but my guess is it came from the exercise and physical activity folder. So if I click on exercise and physical activity, here it is. So it's in this folder as well. It's basically just cross reference So a librarian would describe this differently, but me as a researcher, I want to put my hands on the folder and pull out the articles that I want to read, especially important for pre-reading. So I can come back over here and I can pick on another article and drag this into my stress and anxiety folder. And remember I have 1200 date documents. And so if I come on over here, sometimes they don't drag in really easily. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, so let me try this again. Still not getting the article in there. Yes, there we go. So it must've been something with my mouse. Um, but as I'm pulling all these articles in, if I come into all documents, I haven't, if I, I've, my search for stress, if I clear this, what I'm doing when I'm putting all my articles together is I'm not adding files. I'm just taking what I have and sorting it from within. So that way, if you've got a review article for non-pharmacologic interventions, that might show up in each one of these um, folders. And that's really going to be important as a reference or as a, a resource, but also as a reference for the introduction for whatever your paper is. Because remember, review articles are excellent references. So getting yourself uh, I'm, I'm always working on trying to get my articles organized but certainly getting yourself organized if you're not dealing with thousands of articles it really can help to get the right folder here so you can take your eyes to something and know how to find it when you want to read it happy researching